Hello, my name is Father Andrew Miller, and I'm the founder of Heart Sync Ministries. I'd like to take this opportunity just to tell you a little bit about Heart Sync Ministry. Simply put, the Heart Sync Ministry vision is to promote and participate in the mission statement of Jesus, where he said, I've come to heal the brokenhearted whereby, as the prophet Jeremiah said, he would give us undivided hearts, a singleness of heart and action. And all of this is to the end that we could love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. As Jesus put it, this is the first and the greatest commandment, and the second is like it to love your neighbor as yourself. Then he said that all of the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Just think of that. What if we could work with the heart in such a way that we could bring all of our heart into loving relationship with him so that we could do that? Well, that's what we do in Heart Sync Ministry. Heart Sync Ministry assists us in doing this by intentionally connecting or synchronizing the various aspects of the heart and bringing them into loving relationship with Jesus. You know, when I first began in healing ministry, well over 30 years ago now, uh, God brought me the most brokenhearted and the most divided-hearted individuals that you can imagine. These people are who I call my heroes. Uh, they're my heroes because they had so much trauma that they had to create places and aspects of their heart to be able to house the trauma and the pain and the unresolved emotion, all of those things that they couldn't resolve at the time of the original trauma. Well, at the same time, I could observe another kind of dividedness that was seen not just at, at times when we were working on incredible pain and trauma, uh, but it was a kind of dividedness that was evident and that you could see in everyday life. What was clear that these individuals can work, could work in part of their heart that, that held unresolved uh, pain and trauma but then they could simply shift to another part of the heart to do all the daily functioning of life. And uh, to make it more interesting, then I could see a third part of the heart that could work in a way uh, that would contain or actually put a lid on the emotional pain so that the person would be able to function. I call this aspect of the heart guardian. Then at other times, a fourth dynamic of the heart would emerge, and this part of the heart could make an amazing connection with God. Uh, I've called this the true self or the original self. Others have called it the heart that Jesus gave us. Eventually, in 2005, this question emerged. What if all people exhibit these four aspects of the heart? In other words, do all people have as these aspects that I call function, emotion, guardian, and the original self? And my informal research project began. All through that year and through 2006, I would meet with anybody that would let me and by the end of 2000, I was thoroughly convinced that these aspects of the heart are absolutely universal to all people. I've now done this process with several thousand individuals, and I'm more convinced than ever. Well, uh, what does this mean to us? What does this mean to us in everyday life? You might think of it this way. Um, Maybe you've had the experience where you've been in so much emotional pain, uh, but you couldn't deal with it at the moment, and you had to say to yourself, I just need to set this over here, 
and somehow you shift away from that over to another aspect of the heart that is able to do the daily functioning of life. Uh, I, know, I know this because I had to do that in my own healing journey. You know, after all, some aspect of us, some part of us, has to go to work, has to pay the bills, um, has to do all the things that are demanded of us in our daily life. Or maybe you've given yourself a pep talk uh, before doing an important speech. Or one of my favorites is when I'm driving uh, somewhere and, I, and I'm uh, going like a, driving like a bat out of you know where, um, and in that moment, another aspect of my heart comes forward and says, you know, wait a minute, uh, I don't want to get a ticket because I know what that's like and I don't, I don't enjoy that. And above all, it's important to arrive safely. Or finally, we might say that one part of us feels this way, and yet another part of us feels this way. What's clear from Scripture is we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and our heart and mind can do more than one thing at a time. And these aspects of the heart can hold very different opinions, even about God. It really shouldn't surprise us uh, that all of us are brokenhearted or have a divided heart to one degree or another. Coming to the realization that these four aspects of the human personality are universal to all people is really an important development in the inner, inner healing field. Because what this means is we can intentionally uh, check in or work with these aspects of the heart to see if they are in relationship with God. And if not, we can work with them to help resolve the conflicts that are pre preventing that as well as the spiritual hindrances that might be preventing that those things which are keeping them separated from loving relationship with Jesus. That's basically what we do in Heart Sync Ministry. Really, all of us should be interested in this quest of coming to the place where we can more fully love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and all of our strength. We want to bless you on your healing journey. And to learn more about HeartSync Ministry, we invite you to visit our website at heartsyncministries.org or see the link below.